Hi angels, welcome to Thirsty Thursday. This is Jason. He is our wine guru here at Naked yeah. HQ. Um, Jason stays up to date with all of the wines in our portfolio and the winemakers and educates the staff here at Naked. I am Nicole. I am your Naked Socialite. So, Jason. What is up? How are you? I'm doing awesome. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. It's been a little while again. Yes, it has been a while. We've been sick on and off, but it's out of our system exactly. now. You be, you're sick, and then I'm sick, and then back and forth. It's just crazy. We sit too close to each other. We're just rubbing no, things yeah, back and forth. Exactly. Okay, well, what do we have to try today? So we have two red blends, both uh, Bordeaux varietals, um, side to side, and they're from both from Napa. So we're going to compare them side by side, um, and they just got released, too. So that's a... Brand new to yeah, the site. Exactly. Which one are we starting with? Let's do... Jack Cole, got you. Unless you want to. <laughs> Thanks. So this is the Maseko. This is a customer favorite. People are always looking for Jack Cole's Maseko. Maseko, exactly. Maseko. 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 Potato. 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 I think it's Maseko. Maseko. It's whatever you want to call it. Sorry, Jack. It's delicious. Is what it is. Exactly. Maybe I haven't had it. Just kidding. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> mm, so we've a, opened this for a while. So yeah. this is this bit this has been um open for about three hours. So you want to make sure these these wines uh get some air, let it breathe, let it open. And it's open. That yeah. is a beautiful nose. There's berries and chocolates and spices and caramel. And hints, the hints of toast. Toast, and maybe just like a touch of leather. It's deep in there. Well integrated, oh fruit and gosh. oak. So. This is one of those smells. I, I wish I had a study in my home and it smelled like this. A lot of fruit. Oh, that's gorgeous. Has really nice velvety tannins. High acidity. This would be a really good food wine. This is uh, higher acids. One of the things Jack Cole loves to do is um, keep his wines with higher acidity. That means that you should enjoy this with with a meal, yeah. with something. I would have this with maybe duck or like dark chicken meat, mm -hmm. or maybe Lamb. some like hard cheeses, oh, yeah. like manchego or Swiss white cheddar. Oh, my so I like good. to drink it by itself. It's really good by <laughs> itself. But it would be really great with a meal. I would pick it exactly. over the edge. Yep. So again, higher acidity. There's still a lot of fruit, a lot of structure to it. Uh, tannins are firm. It's, I feel like there's like a touch of eucalyptus or mint or something too on the palate. And the leather really translates to the palate nicely. Try finish. really good that is yes. really good i see why it's an angel favorite good job jack yeah all right you remember our bucket one. this time <laughs> all right and jim is a big angel favorite he is so interactive with the angels and really takes their feedback into account oh yeah we didn't do that that's Oops. all right um last year this was a single bridal his um shoot the moon but this year because of angel feedback it is a blend it is a bordeaux blend uh what Jim Wilson's trying to do here is keep it in that Napa, Napa style. A lot of fruit, a lot of structure, um, really, really fruity. So fruity on the nose, fruity on the palate, the finish. It's fruity on the nose, but it's a bit meaty on the nose, too. Yeah. I haven't had this one at Good all. Good fruit. Not as, much, not as woody as the Jack Cole, not as oaky, uh, a little bit less oak. It's darker fruit too, maybe plums. The jammy plums. Yeah. There's a touch of residual sugar on the palate, which is nice. Makes it mix your, makes your mouth richer. Mm -hmm. Feels richer. It's not a sweet wine per se, but there is that hint of sweetness that would make, I would love like dark chocolate with this. Yeah. Or a heavier, uh, you know, some meats as well. It, yeah. It's it's dry in a way, but it, there is a touch of RS there. 
that um, that nice. gives it a nice rich feeling. Nice tannins. It's a yep. balanced wine. It's not overly sweet because Jim took care to balance it. Tannins and acid give it a nice balance there. That's a good one. It's interesting that these are both Napa Valley and Bordeaux blend, and they're so different. Totally different. Totally different winemaking styles and result. Different wines. Yeah. You could do a side-by-side -side tasting of these and absolutely see yeah. that there are different winemaking techniques taken into account. And yeah. Yeah. This could be like nice dinner wine. This could be like after dinner, you know, enjoy yeah. a little chocolate or something. Yeah. 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 We should have a dinner party. <laughs> <laughs> Just so we could drink all the fabulous <laughs> wines. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing with us, yeah, Jason. Thank you guys. And I hope that you guys will try these and give us your feedback. We're always looking at the reviews, and like I said, the winemakers are as well, which is why this one is different this year. Exactly. Your opinion matters. Cheers. Cheers.